Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, right now I want to talk about the Samsung S23 Fan Edition. Now this is the S21 Fan Edition, uh, one of my favorite phones. Uh, one of the phones that uh, I have maintained and kept over the last couple of years. Um, and um, it's one of the phones that uh, always kind of seems to find its way into my pocket. Uh, I love the form factor. I love the weight. I love the size. The cameras are good. The display is awesome. Um, so this phone... Uh, is one of the phones that um, are kind of like near and dear to me and uh, the S23 fan edition um, I'm not sure what it exactly it's going to uh, bring to the table but um, if the you know if the rumors are correct um, I think it's going to be a worthy upgrade but I don't think it's going to be an all-out upgrade where everything is going to be revamped because they are going to use the Snapdragon a Gen 1 instead of the A Gen 2. So uh, the Snapdragon 888 that's on this one is very good. Uh, this phone has no lag. Uh, this phone is just, you know, still impe impeccably fast, even after, you know, a couple of years that I've used it. Uh, this came out at, uh, in uh, I believe, in the beginning of 2022. And, um, you know, this is a fantastic device. Uh, but... With the new rumors, uh, Samsung um, is going to uh, release the new S23 FE with, I believe, four different colors. Pearl white, black graphite, purple lavender, and olive. Now, that's only four um, color options. I think this one had more. And I know the S20 uh, Fan Edition had more color options. So, I got the lavender on this one. So, I'm definitely going to uh, switch it up and perhaps go for the olive or maybe the pearl white uh, it's going to be between those two uh, i'm not sure but uh other than that uh the phone's going to look a lot like the uh samsung s23 and um you know it's going to have just the uh, uh the camera sensor right here on the side it's not going to have the hump here um so uh and but the big difference is it's going to use a 50 megapixel main camera uh this one only has i believe a 12 megapixel so the camera is going to be upgraded. Um, I believe the telephoto and the ultra wide are going to remain the same. But uh, with all that said, um, I think, uh, you know, the use of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is good if you're in the United States. Uh, but if you live in, you know, let's say, you know, outside of the United States, that's going to use the Exynos 2200, which is solid. But I think that uh, the Snapdragon, for some reason, has always been one of my favorite processors. Now, I know that the Google Pixel Tensor chip is actually based on the Exynos, so um, for whatever that means. But uh, I think that uh, the processor is not going to be, big, you know, it's not going to be a big deal or deal breaker. Um, you're just going to have to go with whatever they sell in your country. So um, if you want a Snapdragon version, then you're going to probably have to get one shipped from the United States. But uh, as far as the release date, um, Samsung has not mentioned anything. So uh, we don't know, but with all the renders and leaks, I think it's probably going to be out the end of this month and it could be maybe beginning of October, end of September. I mean, they could just, you know, push it out next week. We don't know. So Samsung's been very quiet about this one. And the only deal breaker for me is going to be how much are they going to give me for this one? Are they going to give me, you know, three, four, five hundred? Hey, if they do that, then I'll get on it real right away. But if they're only going to give me like a $99 to trade this one in, um, then I'm not sure because the pricing is going to be very important. Um, whatever they um, choose to price that phone at uh, is going to be probably the main de uh, decision factor. So if Samsung wants to you know, sell that phone for $600, um, I'm going to say no. But uh, I think if, you know, I think around $550, um, is a decent price point and depending on the trade for this one you know anywhere between three or four hundred then you know if I can pick that phone up for a hundred dollars then you know, I'm, I'm, I'm for it if not I really like this phone and I don't feel like I need to upgrade it but like I said when the time comes you know I'll make that decision but for now you know I'm very happy with this one um, this one is still you know the fingerprint sensor is still really fast the cameras are really good um, face unlock works now one thing I am hoping for is that Samsung ups the minimum storage from 128 to 256 
that would be a major upgrade because 128 gigabytes in 2023 is not enough, man. I mean, I fill that up real fast, especially with videos. Um, so then I have to transfer them over to an SD card uh, for, you know, to if I want to keep the files. So 128 gigabytes is definitely not enough. Cloud storage is nonsense. And a lot of things that you have, the personal pictures that you don't want to be in the cloud, you know, you don't want to have to upload those. So <clears throat> all in all, I hope that they uh, put the base storage to 256. I doubt it. Um, like they did with the uh, Z Flip 5, which was really good. So um, we'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe down below. Until next time, stay blessed and take care.